briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that put to test the real estate contract law, William and Shirley Nahn found themselves pitted against Donald Soffer and 1018 Investment Corporation in 1991. At the heart of the discord was an ambiguous option contract for the sale of undeveloped land between these two parties that lacked a specified closing date, an omission that would later provoke a legal kerfuffle. Soffer had exercised the option to purchase the Nahn's property, but the absence of a closing date sparked a dispute. The Nahn's in response contended that the opportunity to exercise the option had expired given that the transaction was not closed by the specified date. Undeterred by the objections raised by the nons, Soffer then transferred his interest to 1018, which subsequently went on to enter into an option contract with Shell Oil. After deliberating on the circumstances surrounding the contested option contract, the trial court decided in favor of the nons, quieting title to the disputed property. The court offered its reasoning for the decision. It deemed the appellant's claim for specific performance as untenable invoking the principle of latches. In essence, the court determined that Soffer and 1018 had unreasonably delayed asserting their rights, thereby causing detriment to the nons. Despite the appellants appealing the judgment, alleging an error by the trial court, their pleas fell on deaf ears. The Court of Appeal confirmed the trial court's decision, thereby reaffirming that delays in asserting contractual rights could indeed lead to the denial of specific performance, a principle grounded in fairness and justice. Thus, the non successfully retained their title to the disputed property, a triumph for the clear application of real estate contract law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.